So there's a bit in this video that's been going around on Twitter for the last few days, and it has been stirring up a little bit of controversy. It's been mixing up. I mean, it's not really hard to bring up controversy on Twitter. Like, it's really not that hard, but this guy has done it himself. He has been going absolutely viral. Like, this tweet right here has got 24.3 million views. As you can see, it was posted around about five to six days ago, but depends on, like, by the time this video is uploaded. And he is basically developing an AI companion app. And we have seen many, many of these previously, especially in the last, like, I'd say year since AI has really started to, like, take off like ai has been taking off a lot but obviously you now i put the video i probably put the video up already or i'll put it up now over the screen of this from this tweet as you can see it's a little bit more on the sexual side of things where it's not just you building a companionship it's definitely you you know having some sexual relations with that ai robot that he's developing and if you want to i, I mean you can go ahead and look on his twitter as well of him developing this ai um, app, I guess you could say, or companion of how sophisticated that it's actually going to be. No fucking surprises whatsoever, but a lot of people have been outraged by this. And I thought that I'd go through a lot of the tweets from, like, re uh, retweet these. And you know what? As much as I can s understand some of these tweets, I really don't see this as being, like, all that bad. But before we do, I will say that this guy, I, I, in terms of, like, him saying that AI women are women... I kind of think that that is a little bit stupid, but he did tweet this out a day, uh, like a couple days after he initially posted that video, and he, tw he he posted this saying the relationship between women and men is broken, which is 100% true. The data shows that. Everyone knows that the top 20% in the gene pool don't care. They're not caring is genetic warfare, all social action taken against orifice, orifice, I have no idea, all protests be in it, be in the form of tweet, or article or legislation with the gene warfare, everything comes down to reproduction and we're going to take non-reproductive sex with human women off the table as a commodity. It's gone. Can't trade money for it, can't trade a meal for it. You could spend hours contemplating the consequences of that. Good, bad, it's going to end crime, it's going to wipe out job functions. But why? Because sex is about reproduction and everything breaks when you break that. Our roles don't make sense, our institutions don't make sense, nothing makes sense. When men stop seeking non-reproductive sex from human women, it's going to lead to an increase in reproductive sex and it's going to save the world. So this guy basically, he pretty much thinks that his, his AI women thing is going to save the world. I, I that, That's what I got from this tweet. I mean, so I'm not the most intellectually smart person in the world, but when I read this, to me, this was about a whole load of nothing and how I, AI women are meant to be beneficial for men. And I think that it can be beneficial for society to a certain point and for some people but let's but before i get into my opinion on of it let's have a look at what other people have to say a majority of these people i mean no surprise would have to be women i mean when you know your sex is being used as an ai companion to help please and satisfy men i mean i could absolutely see why they would get mad at it. So this first one right here is, honestly, this world, this planet, and humans are not worth fighting for. Irredeemable are species, not a single philosopher that believed in the good in mankind could have predicted this. It's really too late for anything at this point. I don't really think that this is like, you know, all like bad in terms of like it's irredeemable or like uh, the humans aren't worth fighting for. I definitely think that we're still a species worth fighting for. As much as this thing is bad, like, I don't think it's really the majority. That, that, that's the thing is that, like, I feel like the people that are retweeting this think it's just, like, every single dude is going to turn to AI women. And, and I seriously, I seriously doubt that. Like, if in 50 years' time it turns out that I'm wrong, I would be heavily surprised. But I don't see it being the, the vast majority. I just see it being that, that, that selection of men that are really stuck on the internet, which it seems like a lot. But if you do go out in society, which I mean, I don't often, but I do here and there, it's really not all that bad. This right here is, I hope the horniness of every man getting off in this way inspires them to screw the hole of an angry hornet's nest. Now, I, I, the one thing that I don't get about this tweet is that, like, isn't it more beneficial for the dudes to do this to, like, an AI than, say, like, 
an actual woman, like harming an actual woman or, you know, people who don't know how to communicate with women instead like, you know, they're not actually harming anyone. Like, that's the thing that like, yeah, they're using AI and you might not be happy with that. But at the same time, you could think of it as like a, hey, at least they're, you know, they're screwing a robot and they're not going off and, you know, sexually harassing women like actual real women not ai robots like if they want to go hump an ai robot i mean it doesn't really matter at least they're not like actually harming real people i think that one thing that i hate is when people try to bring their like they try to like somehow skew this with like this being a pol like more of a political thing like this person right here says are you a transphobic incel is this preventing you from fucking blue haired leftist the problem can be solved with technology is an elevator pitch i wasn't expecting today but in retrospect makes a lot of sense uh, I, I i don't understand like where this person is actually coming from I mean, if someone likes an AI woman, a woman, I don't see how this would make them like transphobic whatsoever. Is it just because there was a blue-haired girl in in the video? I mean, just because there's a blue-haired girl doesn't mean she's like you know a blue-haired leftist. I mean, that that girl in the video. I mean, even though it's AI generated, I will say if that was a real girl, I mean, smash. I I, I would. She's it, it's an attractive-looking woman. I mean, I wouldn't say no. You know. It doesn't matter what side of the political standpoint she's on because I honestly don't care about it. And I think that, you know, making this like, yeah, it's somewhat of a political thing, but I really don't think it's that much of a political thing as this person is making it out to be. And this person right here, and I think that they're like, they're kind of skewing the wrong side of AI with this, is that this girl mentions, this person mentions right here, says that a girl literally committed suicide because of AI. Her male friends made sexual content using her face, and men were like, how is AI harming females and setting back females' rights? If men went through half what women and girls go through, they'd want to end themselves. I think that when you say stuff like this, like there is already a bridge between males and females, and I think that the more you go ahead and compare men's issues with women's issues and i'm not here to say that men's issues are worse than women's issues but comparing them and saying that like you guys can't go through that that just even builds more of a bridge and yeah there was that girl and, and i think that you know ai is going to be beneficial and i also think that it's used and it's just sad that it's used in the wrong way but i definitely think that you know this if if this to me is actually like complete opposite to that is that this is like actual ai generated women like, this isn't taking a, a woman's face who's just a random off the street. This is a AI-generated, like, woman. This isn't a fake. Like, that's deep fake. And AI, like, taking someone else's face and deep faking AI onto someone else is a completely, completely different story. And you're, like, skewing two different things. And then the last one that I want to get on, and I want to, like, put these two tweets into one because I, I feel like they kind of touch on a bit of the same thing. And unfortunately, one of the tweets, it, it was because New York Post also tweeted about this. And it was someone's post who they retweeted um, the New York Post. Like, they did a retweet of it, and it went fucking hella viral. But unfortunately, they privated their um, Twitter page, so I couldn't find it. But I found it on Asmund Gold's video, because I was watching his video about this. And she goes ahead, and she retweets it about, the, like, the AI girlfriends, and how much it would be generating. And she says, oh my god, just talk to an actual woman. We're all horny and unhappy, too. You're not special, you fucking weirdos. And then this girl also tweets out about the AI women are women video. And she says, guys, just go fucking outside women are intimidating i know but god please there is another mile from what you do from uh c dot ai i get where these girls are coming from like yes girls are on the same level of horniness as guys are if you've ever interacted with a girl and i feel like the audience that i've garnered already from my small channel i mean let's come on guys let's be honest you guys haven't talked to women come on but i uh, i have i'm just saying I have, believe it or not, I mean, it may not look like it, but I have had girlfriends in the past, and I can say that that first woman, yes, girls can be just as bad as guys, and they can be just as unhappy, and they can deal with the same loneliness as dudes, but the thing is that girls are the ones who they initiate sex, they do, like a guy puts himself out there, goes, ah, ah, and the girl goes, no, no. And also the thing as well is that I feel like these girls are getting the wrong like conceptions of who they think this is targeted for. This is not targeted 
to like your good looking guy and your guy that wants to settle down, wants a family, has a good stable job and does all these things. This is going to this is going to be towards the guys that if they had to come up onto you to the street and say, "Hey girl, can I get your number?" you would say, "Fuck off. Don't talk to me. You're a creep and a weirdo." This is for the guys that trust me, you don't want them to talk to you in the first place. That's who this is for. I feel like these girls are getting the wrong conceptions. They're like, you know, yeah, this can be bad. Don't get me wrong. I can see why it can be bad. But I also can see why it can be good. Because it can make those guys who, you know, are really lonely, don't know how to fucking talk to women. And when they do talk to women, all they do is say creepy and sexual shit. And if they go out in public, they're probably going to, uh, going to sexually harass someone, which is terrible. So to me... If anything, this is going to keep the weirdos off the streets. That's what it's going to do. It's going to keep the creeps away from you. If anything, this is like almost beneficial for you. This, you should be like, hey, hey, creepy dudes who like, you know, live in their mom's basement. I, I, I mean, I do live at home still, but you know, it's, I, I, I'm definitely not, a, I, I feel like I'm not a creepy dude. Yeah, I don't think I am. But this is for those creepy ass guys. And you know what I'm talking about? The fucking neckbeards, the Reddit moderators, the Discord moderators, the guys who haven't felt a touch of a woman since their mum first gave birth to them. Like, those are the type of guys that this is targeted towards. The ones that if they had to come up to you and even say hi to you, you would tell them to fuck off. The ones that if you had to walk into a, into a game store, they would all be there and the whole entire store would smell like shit. That's who this is targeted towards. Not your genuine guy. Not like your normal guy. That's the thing. So if anything, this should be beneficial for you girls. Because it's getting rid of all the creepy dudes. But I like to hear what you guys have to think about this down below. I, I do understand where these women are coming from. I 100% where all these people are coming from. I, I think that this the guy who's creating this is stupid in saying... AI women are women? No. AI women are AI women and they should be stayed as artificial intelligence. It's good to have separate things. You gotta keep things separate. Don't, don't, don't try to mix it all into one. When you mix things, it's not good. They should stay AI women, but as much as I think, I definitely think that this could be beneficial for getting rid of all the creepos. That's what I think. But I like to hear what you guys have to think about this down below. That's it from me. Peace out.